Dr. Ben Carson is the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, obviously, but before that, he lived in Baltimore. In fact, he spent almost 30 years performing pediatric neurosurgery at Johns Hopkins, the most famous hospital in America, which is in Baltimore. He knows a lot about the city, and we're happy to have him join us tonight. Secretary Carson, thank you very much for coming on. So thank you've you. spent a good chunk of your life in Baltimore. It's a sad city. I think it's a city with a lot of promise. What does it need, do you think? Well, first of all, you know, as a pediatric neurosurgeon, I spent many hours, sometimes operating all night long, trying to give children of Baltimore and other places around the world a second chance at life. And usually we were successful, but a few days later I was in a horrible dilemma because some of those kids had to go back into homes in East Baltimore that were infested with rats and roaches and ticks and mold and lead and violence, and I didn't want to send them back. Sometimes I would even consider you know, extra tests so they could stay in the hospital an extra day or two. But now, fortunately, God's given me an opportunity to do something about it. And uh, that's one of the reasons I'm delighted to be in this administration. You know, while I was there, I worked on a lot of issues with many politicians, including Elijah Cummings, you know, particularly in terms of childhood education and improving the life for the people. Uh, I don't think Elijah Cummings is a bad person. I think he actually is working hard to try to help people. And I certainly don't think President Trump is a bad person. He's working very hard. And in fact, right. I asked him today, would you be willing to work with Elijah Cummings to bring some relief to the people of Baltimore? He said he would be happy to. But in the meantime, it's going to continue with the programs, you know, like the Opportunity Zones, which get people to take money and invest it into the areas that are distressed. There are 149 of them in Maryland. And uh, you know, Governor Hogan is doing a good job of helping to uh, capitalize upon that. But also, you know, unemployment is at a very low level. Manufacturing is coming back. Wages are going up. You know, prison reform. All of these things are happening. These are not things that a person who was a racist would do. And we allow ourselves to be distracted by these things. And I think what President Trump was trying to say is that rather than spending your time talking about, you know, our brave border agents and uh, investigating endlessly things uh, that you can't find anything on, why not spend some time working more for these people, you know, who are suffering and that he's willing to work with them? I think that's what we should be asking for. I, I wonder if a city in which 65 percent of all kids are growing up in a single parent household. I wonder if you can get anywhere without addressing that. You, you need to address that. You need to address the family issues. You know, uh, there was a, a poverty uh, study by the Brookings Institute, and it c concluded after a massive study that there were three things a person could do to reduce the likelihood of poverty to 2% or less. Number one, finish high school. Number two, get married. Number three, wait until you're married to have children. But a lot of our policies over these decades have not reflected that, and in fact, have moved us in the opposite yes. direction. We should actually utilize the data. It would make a huge difference. I, I'm so glad to hear you say that. It's an obvious point, and you, you can't say it enough, and it's rarely said, unfortunately. Secretary Carson, Absolutely. thanks very much. Good to Always see you. a pleasure, Tucker.